today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious easy wonton soup that you can make at home. If you have this recipe, no more takeout. Let's get started. So we have chicken stock right here. You can use a homemade or store-bought either one. Just pour it into a pot, some water. Let's just slice some ginger and put it in. I normally don't peel ginger because the ginger skin actually has a lot of flavor as well, so don't miss out. And I'm going to put it into the pot and some garlic. Just smash down. Like smash like a you mean it. <laughs> like you mean it. Alright, add it into the pot. Some green onions. Just cut it into half like this. And then put it into the pot. And some black pepper. Some salt to your taste. Bring chicken stock to boil and reduce the heat to medium and simmer for 15 minutes. Guess what? I forgot soy sauce. Don't forget soy sauce, okay? Because it will give some color and some deeper seasoning that the salt can give. In the mixing bowl, I'm going to add ground pork and chopped green onions. Cornstarch, it will thicken because we are going to add some wet ingredients and some sugar and some sesame oil. Got to have sesame oil, right? <laughs> and some Chinese cooking rice wine or any rice wine that you have in your hand. If you don't have it, just add water. Add in. And soy sauce. Don't forget soy sauce. All right, in here I'm going to grate some garlic. Maybe about half of garlic because this is quite a big piece. And some ginger as well. All right, the ginger smells so good. Okay, little black pepper. And let's mix it. No, oh, it smells so good already. You definitely can double up this recipe because I know you will want more. All right, these are done. Set aside, let's bring our wonton wrapper. Here I have a square shaped wonton wrapper. You can use a round too, but I prefer square, so I will have like really this pretty shape that I wanna make. Um, you have to cover with the damp towel like this, so it won't dry out, cause the edge will dry out really easily, and then it will be very hard to um, seal it. So just put a little water around the egg, and put the filling, and fold it, triangle shape, then put water, oh, water right here, and just fold it like this. Ta-da! This might look hard to make like this, but as soon as you know how to do it, super simple. All right, my broth have been simmering for about 15 minutes now. I'm going to take all the solid vegetables out. Bring the broth back to boil. Now I'm going to add the wontons. Just one time keep cooking in the broth. So actually the flavor from the wonton coming out to the broth and it's gonna be make so delicious. You wanna take a little time to let them become friends or get married. So while we are waiting, we dance. Boop. All right, Ooh. I'm hot from the dancing, but <laughs> the wonton soup is done. Let's take the leaves out. Ooh, look at that. Turn off the heat and let's serve. It smells so amazing here. I'm going to put some green onion, give it some life, you know, and some cilantro leaves. Just put them right there. And we are done. How easy was that? 
it may be a little too hot, <laughs> but I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Oh yeah, mm. it's so cozy. You've got to make this recipe. So easy, so comforting, and full of flavors.